Well, one of the coolest cutaways on the planet right here lets you see everything that's going on. Think about it for a minute. We got a crankshaft down there turning to a connecting rod that's actually running up here to these pistons. Now these pistons have to be lubricated. That connecting rods have to be lubricated. The crankshaft has to be lubricated all the way up to the valve. You got these lifters, you got camshaft, you got cam bearings. There is a ton going on inside of that engine. Welcome to this AMS oil tech tip. Now you heard that one squeaking a little bit and it's spinning at electric speed, which is nothing. These things go 5,000 RPMs. Just imagine that and what the oil has to do. Also, there's some frictional loss in all those bearings. Now that 100% loss actually equates to all this here. You see the piston rings, 38%, valve train 20, 19 for the crankshaft, 12 for the oil pump, so forth and so on. More frictional loss, the less horsepower you're gonna get. Oil plays a big role in that, right, Len? Right, you can influence this with oil, specifically the construction of the oil. You can change those numbers for the better or for the worse. Now there's additives in these oil, and I know you're a smart guy, so I'm gonna give you a quiz. I got the cheat sheet right here, all right? First one is anti-foamants. Well, it is what it says. It keeps the foam from happening. The reason we don't want foam in the oil is because foam is air. Air is compressible and it doesn't provide protection. Yeah, can't have oil pressure with that. What about viscosity modifiers? Viscosity modifiers are interesting. They help us to bridge the gap. When you see these engine oils that are zero W somethings, 50s, 40s, 30s, viscosity modifiers help us bridge the gap. Now, the key there is the better the base oil, the less viscosity modifiers you have to use and that's the way we tend to build products. Absolutely, pore point depressants. Well, those are once again, what they say they are. They help us get the pore point of the oil down to a lower temperature, so the car will start better. What about dispersants? Dispersants keep particles from collecting to forming a larger particle. Large particles can scratch things and create problems in bearings, so a dispersant keeps things broken up so that it can be caught in the filter. Man, you're nailing this one, Len. Two more for you, detergents. Detergents help to keep things clean, just like you use detergent to wash your clothes. It's very similar. Keeps the oils from oxidizing, keeps the surfaces clean. And last one, kind of self-explanatory, corrosion and rust inhibitors. Yes, people don't understand that oil inherently does not have rust and corrosion inhibitors built in. Just because it's oil doesn't mean that we put it on something, it won't rust. We formulate that in. Well, if I were a student, I'd give you an A, but guess what? I'm the student, you're the instructor. Great job, Len. Oil does so much more than just lubricate. For the best lubrication, along with all the other additives that are needed, go to amsoil.com. Quality products are just a click away.